Hey my dudes, it's Cody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all kinds of well and staying safe. Today I'm bringing you a double Alcrate unboxing. So I have February's box and I also have the Matchbox, which is a lovely shade of blue. It's different design and everything for their five year anniversary. So I'm really late with the February one. I was going to film this one and then this one arrived. So I figured we'd just do a double unboxing. <laughs> Before we get started, I'd like to say a huge thank you once again to Alcrate for sending these boxes my way to review here on my channel. I'm very excited to open these. And I do have a discount code, which is just my name, Cody. You can use that at checkout for 10% off your first purchase if you would like to try out Alcrate for yourself. So obviously I'm going to start with the February box. If you're just interested in the March box, I'll put a timestamp here somewhere and you can skip ahead if you'd like to just watch the March unboxing. And I've done it again, I forgot the scissors every time. <laughs> Amateur. Okay, so opening it up. Ooh, pretty. So February's theme is a power within. Gorgeous as always. I will say I have been spoilt for the book, but I don't think I've been spoilt for the items. First thing on top is a pack of playing cards, which has a beautiful design. I will take the plastic off. Now to place this somewhere where Tibbs can't find it because he's just entered the vicinity. <laughs> so as you can see, the design of the box is absolutely gorgeous. And according to the back, these are inspired by Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. These have like purple metallic edges, y'all. This is what the back of the playing cards look like. So it's just the same as the front of the box. And they are fully purple. These are some of the designs on the non-face cards. And this is what the art looks like on the face cards, which is absolutely stunning. I only read up to book two, so I won't try and wager a guess as to which characters are which. Here's some more gorgeous art. And these were designed by a few people. We have Joe Painter, Salome Totlatza, hope I pronounced that correctly, along with Diana Dorak. Jana Runek and Michelle Gray. I absolutely love the design on these and if there were ever a time when playing cards might come in handy, you know? The next item we have is this really cool keychain with this metallic B and it says Break Bills Alumni, which is inspired by the Magician series by Lev Grossman, which I still need to read. And this one was designed by Blooming Library. I really like the design of it. It also says Alcrate on the back. It's very cute. Okay, the next item, I don't really like that much. It's a binto box, which is cute, but I don't really like this color or the texture on here. I don't know, but it is the Mistborn inspired item. And when I heard there was gonna be a Mistborn inspired item, I was really excited. I wanted some kind of fan art or something, you know? Um, we just have the symbols representing the different metals from the Mistborn series. Um, at the top which is a nice touch but i can see how it would be handy for a lot of people we do have a spoon and some metal chopsticks as well and that's just what the inside looks like i really just want more mistborn merch generally that has some characters on it you know but i will say they used the steel alphabet to spell alcrate on the top so that's a really cute touch i think it's a really nice idea to include something like this i just I'm not gonna get a lot of use out of it. So I'm a little bit, you know, iffy on this one. We then have something that comes in a nice little pouch with stars and moons on it. Oh, and I think it's a cloth. Yes, this is a cloth to clean your glasses. And we have this gorgeous art on one side. And then we have this lovely quote on this side. It says, a witch is just a girl who has realized her power is her own. And I think that's really nice. I'll definitely get some use out of this. It was designed in, oh, it's inspired by the Wicked Saints. It's Nadia. Oh, cool. It was created by Nicole Deal and the quote on the reverse was hand lettered by Leaf and Law. Then in this paper envelope, we have, oh, a couple of really cool, I think, bookmarks that are also rulers. And these are Fred Sisters BFF bookmarks. They both look to be the same in design, as you can see the measurements are on one side. And these were inspired by the Witchland series by Susan Dennard, which I do have True Witch on my TBR, really hoping to get to it soon. I really like the dragon on the top. And these were designed by Hey Atlas Creative. I do wonder though, I really like the design, but I wonder if, it will scratch the pages maybe. I will 
find out and report back in the vlogs. <laughs> Not scratch, you know, rip the pages, you knew what I meant. <laughs> and the last item we get is the pin, which they always include every month, inspired by the book. That is being featured and I really like this one. It's a crown design with tentacles, which is very sea queen, and it says on it, still I will fight. Oh, also in here we have a sneak peek of Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which I wasn't sure if I was going to read, but I might, I might read this and then if I like it, I may actually try Chain of Gold because I have, I am caught up apart from all the like novellas and things. I really enjoyed the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, not so much the others. So possibly I might give this a go. <laughs> and then of course the book for this month, which the pin was inspired by is all the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. I love a book with mermaids or sirens or pirates, so I'm 100% time to read this. We also get an author letter with it, of course, and this is an exclusive um, cover as well. Being more turquoise, I think the original is more of a blue, and ooh, it's purple underneath, and it has foiling. Gorgeous. I really love the spine on this as well. That's such a nice touch. It comes signed as well, and we have some cute illustrations here. So this one is set in a kingdom where danger lurks beneath the sea. Mermaids seek vengeance with song and magic is a choice. As princess of the island kingdom visitor, Amora Montara has spent her entire life training to be High Animancer, the master of souls. The rest of the realm can choose their magic, but for Amora, it's never been a choice. To seduce her place as the heir to the throne, she must prove her mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic. That's all I want to read. I like to go into books sometimes not knowing the full synopsis, but this cover design is just absolutely gorgeous and I've seen some good reviews for this. So the original is more of a blue, whereas this is more of a turquoise. I think I prefer the Alcrate edition, but both are stunning. And in terms of my favorite items, I think the playing cards, the keychain, the pin, and the bookmarks are really cool too. Do let me know what your favorite item was that was included in February's box. Plus your thoughts on this book if you've read it. I'd be intrigued to know what you thought of it. Now onto the March box. I love that they also used blue tape. <laughs> and the inside of it is black. And this, ooh, cool. The theme is music of the night and this is the art for this month which gives me phantom of the opera vibes very nice the first thing we have is in this box which has lots of music notes on it cute and oh my god it's a wireless speaker Are you what <laughs> oh my god this is so cute okay guys is an alcrate wireless speaker <laughs> You also get like a USB with it too. And a cute little manual, which I'll be reading later and testing this out for sure. That's such a cool idea. Oh, we also have, I think this is a candle. I love candle in a box. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, it's um, just a blue one. It says on here, Goblin Glove, and it's by Flick the Wick. The scents are winter berries, peach, pear, and fresh air. I'm definitely getting the peach. Did I say Goblin Glove? Goblin Grove, <laughs> inspired by Winter Song. Oh, I also see something that comes rolled up, so I'm guessing it's an art print. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. So this, of course, is Phantom of the Opera inspired. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. I really love the colors and the lettering. I may have to find somewhere to put this. And this has been illustrated by Anne Lambert. Oh, yay, okay, we also get some Alcrate socks. I actually already have a pair of these as Alcrate very kindly sent some socks to their reps for Christmas and I'm so happy to have a second pair because I wear them all the time and I'm forever losing socks so very happy that I have another pair. And this has been added to celebrate Alcrate's five year anniversary. Such a nice touch. Ooh, the next thing comes in a illustrated envelope like we have this lovely owl illustration here so in here it's the same illustration as on the envelope but these are book plates so this set of book plates was designed by at veresk natasia underscore art and they were inspired of course by harry potter it says here love to loan out your books write your name on the empty spine in hedwig's book stack to help your friends remember who to return them to Honestly, so handy because I'm always lending out my books. So those are really cute. Also could be nice to put into your um, 
bullet journal as well, just a thought. <laughs> and I think the last item before we get to the pin is a little lip scrub, which I think mine's leaked a little bit, but the label says Bella's Lullaby and it's mint, mint choc chip, is it? Yes, mint choc chip. And mint choc chip is my favorite ice cream flavor, so I need to sniff this, but it's really oily. So <laughs> I do love a lip scrub as well. Oh, that smells so good. Mm, I've never had a mint choc chip one before, so I do like that. <laughs> so this was created by Fairy Tale Bath Company and was of course inspired by Twilight. Why did I not guess? <laughs> and another item in an envelope. This one, oh, this is this is nice. It's it's wooden. So it's a wooden art print that says "Sing you a song and steal your soul." Victoria Schwab. So it's inspired by the Monsters of Verity series, which I still haven't read the second one. I know. And this one was designed by Emily Rudd. I really like this. You could just, you know, maybe put it on the wall, put it on your shelf maybe. And it feels like a really nice texture as well. And lastly, we have this one's pin, which is inspired by the book that's included. So this is a tree design with the two shades of blue. Very cute. And the pin was designed by Fable and Black. So this month's book, oh my god, the, the sprayed ed the silver sprayed edges, y'all. And it's The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. So the pin was quite literal with the cover, but I love the cover. It has like musical notes hanging from the branches. So nice. And can we like the silver sprayed? Oh, this looks so fancy. Oh, and that's not it. We also have some foiling on the um naked hardcover and this is what the spine looks like the end papers are a bloody map i love me a good map and of course it's also signed by the author and it comes with an author letter as well i know nothing about this actually so it says here two siblings two brilliant talents but only one mozart we think you'll love the kingdom of back a new historical YA fantasy from marie lou about a musical prodigy and the dangerous lens she'll go to to make history remember her Oh, that sounds cool. It sounds like something I'm really gonna enjoy. Let me know your thoughts, anybody out there who's maybe already read it. That would be much appreciated. I have read Warcross by Marie Lou and I didn't really enjoy Warcross. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but this cover, like this, this edition is making me want to read it even more. <laughs> so this one is the regular edition and this one is the Alcrate edition. So you get some cool things included such as an interview with a vendor. So in this case, it's Fairytale Bath Company, the info for the um, photo box challenge, the owl babble details, and also the reading playlist, which I think is so cool that they do that every month. And also you could totally listen to that on the wireless speaker. <laughs> and then we have next one's theme, which is gorgeous it's full moon magic the art on these cards i swear oh yeah okay and april's box will include a jigsaw puzzle illustrated by at alien art which it says here again gorgeous illustrations right so i loved this box the speaker is probably my favorite item although this candle also smells divine and I love that they included a um, lip scrub too also the wooden art print is pretty cool and the socks I think it was just a really good box and I mean this this edition of, of this book that I didn't know I needed to read up until this moment. <laughs> I really really like this box. This could be one of my favourite boxes I've ever got from Alcrates. Um, so a huge thanks to them again. Um, do let me know what your favourite item was that was included in March's box too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed watching these unboxings. I hope you're doing well and staying safe as I said and I will just catch you in the next one my dudes. Bye y'all!